But I had a question for you though. Let's say somebody's watching this and they like what you do and they want to become somebody like you. What right. are, how, how can they do that? Okay. So I get that question so many times and I'm trying to put something together that would, that would answer this question in more general terms. Mm -hmm. So whenever I speak to especially high school students mm. that want to get into the cybersecurity career, the cybersecurity, cybersecurity space is very, very large. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can't just say, Oh yeah, I'm a cybersecurity specialist and be a master of everything. It's impossible. So you have what's called ethical hackers. You've got forensic specialists, you have yeah. incident responders, you've got policy people, you've got C uh, chief information security officers, you got, you have all these divisions. Mm -hmm. And um, so you got to pick an area that you're most passionate about. Now, the misconception also about cybersecurity is that you cannot just go into cybersecurity because you want a job. You need to be passionate about this field because this okay. field is, is very, very fast paced. It's not very rewarding. <laughs> And most of the stuff we're recommending or using is not working at all. Okay. And there's no recognition. There's, yes, the money is very good, but you're going to work your ass off to, mm -hmm. to get there, right? So um, the other challenge is that a lot, of, a lot of companies right now, they want to see three to five years of experience before they hire you. But how are you going to get that experience if you, you, you haven't even started yet? Yes. Or if you just got certified, what do you do? You can't find a job because no one's going to hire you because you have no experience. So there's a couple of things you can do. Mm -hmm. One of them is always share your knowledge. So when you, if you're taking, say, the ethical hacker track or the cybersecurity track uh, in, in professional hacking, you're always going to learn something new. So find a way to get comfortable in front of a camera or a podcast, whatever, and share that knowledge with people because you never know who's listening. And they might pick you up and say, oh, I like this guy's stuff. I'm going to follow him. And eventually amasses a, a large following. And you can use that on your CV. Okay. And, and hopefully the HR, you can, there's a way to bypass HR because somebody's going to recommend you. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of, a lot of people think, well, Terry, you must have a university level education, whatever. And they're shocked when they find out that I only have a high school leaving diploma. <laughs> So I, I never, I dropped out of college and I never went to university, mm -hmm. but I did take specialized training when, when I came out. So mm -hmm. I said, I don't want to take calculus and all these classes I don't like. I want to learn networking. I want to learn about security. I want to learn this, 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 this is what I want. So I, I, I did specialized courses, got certified, and then I was able to get a job fairly quickly. And how long have you been doing this for? Uh, I've done this since 1995. Wow. Yeah. So it's uh, is that 25 years now? I have a hard time calculating. It's a lot of years. Let, let's just it's a lot it of years. Yeah, I feel it's... old. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the so, but there are ways to fast track your, your career mm -hmm. it's by sharing your knowledge, uh, and especially volunteering. Okay, so you know what? I have no experience, but I'm very passionate. So, if you give me a chance, give me a three to six month. Free pass, uh, no money. Let me just prove my worth. And that can also uh, get you in places very quickly. So you mean go to a company and volunteer for? For free. For free. But what, what do they say they do? They want to do for them? Well, they say, well, you know, I, I, I specialized in audits. Okay. Cyber audits, for example. I said, let me just, let me just audit you or work with your team mm -hmm. in the trust and, uh, and, and help them. Okay. And that, and that could work a lot of times. Well, that's good advice right there. Well, uh, Terry, it's, uh, it was really good. You gave us a lot of goodies to think about when Thank it you. comes to the business side, you know, the parents, what they have to do, and also those who would like to get involved in the field. What are the steps uh, that they can take uh, to get started? And also your books. I'm, I'm sure that there's a lot of knowledge in there that you shared on uh, different things that we have to, we, we, we can learn from you. My publisher made me laugh. He's like, okay, so when are we working on book two? Because uh, I, have so, I have so much content that never made it into the book. Um, but for the, for, the, uh, for the company side, if they want to learn how to get started with cybersecurity, uh -huh. I put together a little video series for them. Uh, it's at sciologylabs.com forward slash start. Start, okay. And that will walk them through the top 10 issues that almost every company is facing. Okay. Then it's going to walk them through 
how the hackers are getting in, mm -hmm. which I'll show them live demonstrations, some real war stories of behind the scenes of, uh, of hacking. And it's all in layman's terms. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show them why the hackers are getting in because most companies protect their networks like they, like they protect their home, which doesn't work. And then at the end, if they're interested, I'll, I'll walk them through how they can get started. That's very good. What else can we ask for more? Like, and it's all free. It's all free. Well, that's, it's, that's, where, that's where I compete. I compete on value. Yes, yes. I that's sure very important. Good. And then looking at your content on LinkedIn, YouTube, I can see that you, you give a lot uh, yeah. for free, a lot of value to your listeners. And Thanks. you're involved a lot in the community too, because I've seen you won awards uh, for this. It's, that, that was uh, one thing. I, I, so what was interesting about talking about, talking about awards so in 2018, I was named number one most influential person in cybersecurity yeah. worldwide. And, I, and I, obviously, I was honored by that. And what I, love about, what I love about this award is that it's not, yeah, you can vote for me all you want, but mm -hmm. there's like 30 independent judges around the globe that audit your work. So wow. it's not like one guy could say, oh, yeah, Terry's going to win. Well, mm -hmm. the other 29 judges can say, no, he's not. 